Hi, welcome to Enlightened. I'm Paul, and I'm going to take you along today on an exploration of the science behind one of history's most useful and beautiful inventions, the Fresnel lens. The great thing about light is that it always travels in a straight line away from its source. There are really two ways to alter uh, the light. The first is if the light bounces off something, like, like a mirror, right? That is called reflection. The other is if the light passes through something and changes direction, like through a glass of water. That is called refraction. We use reflection and refraction all the time. My glasses refract the light because my eyes can't do it properly. When we're driving, the car mirrors help us back up or change lanes through reflection. As I said before, light travels in straight lines from a light source. But the light rays are not parallel to one another. Rather, the farther away from the light source they get, the farther apart the rays get from one another. This is why lights appear fainter the farther you are from them. This was a big problem Fresnel was trying to solve. For someone trying to invent a new and improved lighthouse lens like Augustin Fresnel, reflection and refraction were particularly useful. That's because you can use physics to predict the angle of reflection or refraction. In other words, you can make glass prisms that send light in whichever direction you want. It's all about the shape of the prisms and the angle of the light. Okay. Today our lighthouse operates automatically, but that was not always the case. Join me next time as we learn how Fresnel lenses operated before electricity. Thanks for watching and I hope you've been enlightened.